Turkey's homemade fighter poised to storm global markets. The German and French press covered the first flight of Turkey's first domestic and national manned fighter plane, KAAN. The importance of the first flight was emphasized in the news. Turkey's Khan Next Generation fighter, previously known as the TFX, has made its first flight, giving rise to geostrategic speculation that the fighter jet may soon be available for export to a range of states, according to multiple news outlets. The aircraft was airborne for 13 minutes, reached an altitude of 8,000 feet and a speed of 230 knots while flying alongside an F-16D for support, the report said. The TFX Comcon project, launched in 2016, is an initiative by Turkey to replace its fleet of U.S.-made F-16s, which will be gradually phased out starting in the 2030s. The design philosophy of the Khan has evolved after Turkey's withdrawal from the U.S.-led F-35 consortium in 2019 due to the procurement of Russia's S-400 missile defense system. The Khan is intended to be the flagship of Turkey's military aerospace industry. Turkey is also working on producing locally manufactured jet engines and considering the design for a sixth-generation fighter aircraft equipped with artificial intelligence capabilities. According to an article in Popular Mechanics from March 2023, the Khan is comparable to South Korea's KF-21 Borame fighter. The Khan is categorized as a 4.5-generation jet, falling short of being a fifth-generation aircraft. However, plans are in place for a complete stealth configuration and the use of indigenous engines in a third production batch. Popular Mechanics mentions that the Khan is expected to meet the performance standards of modern fighter jets, including a top speed between Mach 1.8 to 2.2, a service ceiling of 16,764 meters, a range of 1,127 kilometers on internal fuel, and the ability to fly at supersonic speeds without the use of afterburners. However, the report notes that these capabilities are still more of a goal than a guarantee. The Khan is equipped with a canopy that is resistant to bird strikes, single-wheel landing gears, a nose and cockpit made of 7,050-grade aluminum, a central fuselage made of titanium, and lightweight carbon composite thermoplastic coatings on the engines and surface inlets to reduce radar visibility. Turkey claims up to 85% indigenous parts for the Khan, but it includes imported components such as two General Electric F110 GE129 turbofan engines and a Martin Baker ejection seat. The report states that the Khan is expected to be equipped with an indigenous Aselsan AESA class multimode radar capable of scanning and jamming simultaneously, enhancing its resistance to jamming. This radar is said to have twice as many transmit-receive elements as the N-APG-77 radar used in the US F-22. The Khan has a nose-mounted forward infrared search and track IRST, sensor and an electro-optical system providing 360-degree coverage. Turkish companies have developed various laser, missile, and radar warning receivers, including digital radio frequency memory, DRFM, jammers, for integration into the Khan. While Turkey can still spread out costs over several years of production, such attenuation may result in capabilities that are obsolete on delivery, as Turkey plans to have an operational capability by 2040 with a fleet of 300 aircraft. Nevertheless, Turkey likely aims to pitch the Khan on the international fighter jet market. Aside from longtime strategic partner Azerbaijan, the UAE, Indonesia, and Pakistan have been cited as potential customers. Turkey's Khan could be a viable replacement for the KF-21, offering some of the capabilities of Western fifth-generation fighters at a fraction of the cost while keeping in line with Indonesia's strategy of diversifying its military equipment suppliers to maintain strategic autonomy. While Pakistan is building up its air force with Chinese fighters, those jets may not perform as expected in a high-intensity conflict. Asia Times noted in January 2024 that while Pakistan is a repeat customer for China's fighter jets, the JF-17, which makes up the backbone of Pakistan's fighter fleet, alongside U.S.-made F-16s, is not designed to compete with fifth-generation fighters and is better equipped for low-intensity conflicts such as insurgencies or basic air defense. 
Significantly, the TFX project, which led to the Khan, is a joint Turkish-Pakistani project. The Khan may allow Pakistan to alleviate concerns that its dependence on China for sophisticated weapons could lead to the subjugation of its foreign and defense policies to China's interests. However, the troubled Turkish and Pakistani economies call into question the viability of such cooperation. Thank you for watching. This is just a small part of the available information on the KAAN project which we share regularly these days because of the great public interest. For more details and updates on the KAAN project, please visit our website or subscribe. Thank you for your support and stay tuned for more exciting news and developments. Join Intel Prime channel membership today and get access to exclusive benefits, including Early access to new videos Exclusive discounts on Intel products Behind-the-scenes content Live chat with me and other members Other options will be soon available Thank you for your support and for helping Intel Prime grow